What is up guys? Shooting Skeet here, back at you with another Guild Wars 2 Let's Play, Path of the Necromancer, where I'm taking a Necromancer all the way from level 1 to level 80, and I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. I'm going to be doing a little more PvE content today in this video, um, and after this I'm going to do another uh, PvP. I think I'm just going to do the SPvP Hot Joins, uh, because I don't have to wait so long for the tournament PvP to start. So, definitely going to be doing that. I want to try something new. Um, and what that is, is I want to replace Epidemic with something like maybe Corrupt Boons, if I can. Uh, because I feel like even though Epidemic is amazing when you get the shot off, the delay in its casting, I think it's like a one second cast time, uh, makes it so a lot of the times that you would use it and, and do use it, and you could get off like let's say 10, 12, 15 stacks of bleeding and maybe some other conditions to AoE spread, by the time you've actually gone through the casting animation and all that, it's like 50 to 70 percent of the time somebody's consumed them off of them. So it's just a wasted um, slot. And I know the cooldown is very low, so you can try it a lot, but not not everyone is always grouped up all the time. So I'm going to try using something like Corrupt Boons instead of Epidemic, uh, but keep the basically the rest of the build the same. And then my other thought is, and I'm just going to play with it for experimentation, is I'm going to change out the uh, elite skill from Plague to Blood Golem, I think it's, or it's Flesh Golem or something like that. I'm just going to try it out. It may not be any good. I, I do like Plague a lot for the damage mitigation ability. Um, and it's also nice offensive skill as well. Saves me a lot when I've killed two players and they're both, or they're downed. And, um, after they're down, like I'm pretty low on health and I'm having trouble, if I pop over to Plague and sit there and bleed them until they die, I I've won a lot of battles I should not have probably won or wouldn't have won unless I had Plague. So, I'm, you know, I, I definitely think that Epidemic is good, but might be something better suited. Um, there may just be something better for me to do than Epidemic. And maybe not, um, but... I'm not so confident about plague switching out plague for the golem, but I, I may like it as well. So it's just something I'm gonna try out in PvP. Let me know what you guys think if you're playing Necro. Uh, what kind of build are you having a lot of success with? Um, I saw there's like I think Nemesis is one of the players that was uh, tossing around some ideas on the forums and also has a video about a Fear Mancer build that looks interesting. And there's some comments back and forth about some people don't like it, but are I think it's you know, cool innovation, and then others um, are pretty positive about it. So, I don't know. What are you guys using? Uh, what's working for you in SPVP and tournament PVP for right now? Uh, very curious to see that. So, we're going to finally progress with this story quest. I mean, it's like level 26. I've just completely blown past it and really ignored it because i uh, been so happy with uh, doing side quests, and also because I think this is supposed to be a group only event, and um, I don't know. So, Captain Thackeray, I'm glad you're here. We've got an urgent situation. Kellogg's been corrupted by Orion artifacts. The pirate Alastia told him that the Queen's blood will cure the corruption. Wait, mercy. I have to protect the Queen. We can't let him near her. I think the undead are following him because he has the artifact. As long as he's out there, they'll be right on his heels. We don't have much time. The undead mob he's leading is just getting bigger. Kellogg's growing more dangerous by the second. We can't just think of the Queen. We have to think of Kryda. If we just defend her, Logan, Kellogg will destroy every town from Lion's Arch to Divinity's Reach. You're right. Damn it. When it comes to my duty to the Queen... Well, never mind. I'm listening. What's the plan? It's time to assault Kellak head-on. In the vigil, we swear an oath to stand between the darkness and the light. The only way to be sure is to face this threat directly. Advocate, join us. You'd make a fine member of the vigil, and I'd be proud to fight by your side. Don't be thick-headed, Hiroki. Knowledge is power. The Durman Priory's research is conclusive. The Advocate would be much better suited among our scholars. Come, Advocate. We can use the Mortis Verge enchantment to protect the Queen, and neutralize this threat intelligently. Kellogg has two things on his side. An army of undead, and complete insanity. We have to use cunning, lure him in, and...
and then trick him into destroying himself. The Order of Whispers wants you on our side, Advocate. All you have to do is say the word. <coughs> All right, everyone. Give me a moment to discuss my options with Captain Thackeray. Then I'll let you know how I'm going to proceed. Okay, so we do have a few options. Um, let's let's try the the whispers if we can. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to the Thackeray instead, huh? Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, how do I join an order? What do you think about the order of the whispers? I think so. Keep that in mind. All right, let's do order the whispers. I don't know if there's um, any huge benefit to doing this or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, yeah, well, it doesn't really matter what I get because all this is useless at my level. Okay, was that it? <clears throat> For some reason, I thought this was uh, this required like a group. Maybe it was another story quest that required a group and uh, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. So that was like an easy 8,000 experience. Pretty happy about that. I'm going to switch over to Signet of the Locust so I get some run speed because uh, some of you doing a little PvE here. Always nice to have run speed. I wish there were like some boots or some sort of uh, item I could wear that just gave me permanent run speed. <sighs> like the old EverQuest J boots. Hmm, okay. The trap. They have some really cool artwork for all of the uh, like loading scenes and the cut screens. I, I really do like the, uh, the artwork and kind of the whole look and feel. Okay. There's purpose in my life. Just keep her safe. Well, keep her safe. Well, keep her safe. Jenna's in danger. Stay alert. Okay. Didn't, oh, she's not even the person I should be talking to. There you are, initiate. Are you ready to lay a trap for our friend, Kellick? I am, Ihan. Your agents prepared. Our agents, my friend. You're a member of the Order of Whispers now. We all work as one. Everything's arranged. We've set traps throughout the room, and we'll create a magical duplicate of Queen Jenna to distract Kellick. But the real Queen Jenna will be safe, right? Absolutely. You have my word on the honor of our order. Kellogg's been sighted near the palace grounds. He should be here any minute now. Okay. Now what do we got here? Pulse bomb. Uh, okay, we just arm them. Is that it? Okay. Definitely very easy. And I feel like maybe I should switch back to Epidemic here because I might be fighting some pretty big uh, battles or a bunch of mobs. So let's go ahead and try that. Save Krita. Corporal Kellick, drop your weapons and surrender. You're not thinking clearly. No. <coughs> I need her blood. Royal blood. Don't you understand? It can cure the corruption. Make us all free. It's not true. Alastia Crow lied to you, Kellick. She did this just to endanger the Queen. No. No, you're wrong. There has to be a way. Tell me. No, oh, this can't be the truth. I'll kill you all. Like to see you try. Let's do this. Okay. I'm ready to take you. I won't give in. No, you won't stop me. No. 
Okay, that wasn't too particularly difficult, was it? Guess it uh, helps that I'm got really good gear. I, I don't I don't know how they scale like the actual gear itself. I think primarily they just scale your attributes, but I'm gonna have to read in into how that works because again I'm just not sure how. Um, how they actually, when they level scale you down, like if you're wearing really good gear, are they just doing a percentage of what each gear item is normally bonuses? Or are they allowing the gear itself to boost your stats up, but then scaling down like the hit points? Made for all the right reason. The queen could have been killed by someone who loved her. Even, I mean, it really makes you think. It's all right, Logan. The queen is safe. Focus on the future. Kreider will stay safe, too. Well done, Initiate. You showed tremendous cunning and nerve. I'm proud you're a member of the Order of Whispers. Now for the rest of your initiation. Go to Lion's Arch. There you'll be contacted by an apple merchant. Meet with him to get your first formal assignment. I look forward to it. It's time to be part of a bigger world. Logan, are you all right? You seem rattled. I'm glad Jen is safe, but I realize now that her safety is temporary. Everything is temporary, unless the dragons can be stopped. The dragons can't be defeated by one person, or even one nation. There has to be another way. Do you think we can overcome our mistakes like that? Make up for the things we've done? I know we can, Logan. Mistakes make us human. It's rising up again that makes us heroes. You are right. I've been too focused on keeping the Queen safe. I, I love being at her side, but... Maybe that's not where I can best defend her. Or Kryta. An old friend named Kate asked me to meet her at Lion's Arch. I think I'll take her up on that. I think that's an excellent idea. I'll see you in Lion's Arch. Now it's done. Okay. Very good. What do we get here? No, uh, Whisper's Healer. No, oh, Amulets. Yeah, nobody cares about these because they're way too... Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about this. See if we can deposit all collectibles. That will clear out a good bit. I need to do some serious inventory management, and I have not been doing that because every time I'm playing, I'm recording, and uh, <laughs> I don't know who wants to sit there and watch me sell things at the auction house. So, although I think I did get <laughs> like it, it's funny though because I got a pretty good number of uh, views on my uh, episode ten or part 10, which is like primarily me buying new gear at level, I think it was 40. It's just primarily me buying new gear at the auction house, so. Anyways, not gonna put you guys through that. Let's go ahead and put Signet the Locust on for the run speed again. And we are gonna go ahead and jump through this Asura gate. see if we can find this apple merchant and uh, I'm curious what our first uh, real quest is going to be with Order of Whispers. I didn't even know like I guess those are the three main factions in the game or or whatever I haven't done any reading on like the different orders um, and what those really do or mean so whatever. I'm not sure if they have anything to do with world PvP. Like I was, I haven't looked into world versus world at all. Um, really, I, I tried to join it in one video, and then I was like, I realized that even though they level scaled you up to 80, that they didn't uh, give you like the traits and the slot skills like they do in SPVP. And so I didn't. At that point, I didn't have blood as power and epidemic and some of the other like plague signet. And I was like, even though I'm scaled up, I, I don't have all these traits. Like I'm gonna get romped. Um, so I want to get up a little bit higher in level. I mean, I don't necessarily have to be 80 for me to want to do world versus world, but I'd like to get a little higher um, before I actually jump into that. And honestly, tournament PvP is really fun, minus the annoying wait time for queuing and then the wait time for waiting to actually start the game. It's kind of too long. I don't think that it should be 2 minutes and 30 seconds. One minute at most and preferably like 30 or 45 seconds for to ready up in my opinion. 
but what can you do really? And then uh, hot join SPVP is really nice because you don't have to wait for any of that, but then the problem is that the teams a lot of times have been unbalanced and maybe that get better as my PvP rank goes up and I have a larger pool of players to work with or, or play with. So Okay. All right, we'll talk to Logan again. Let's swap back out. Oh, I didn't have time to. Welcome, fellow members of Destiny's Edge. We must speak of the threat of the Elder Dragons. When I agreed to come, I didn't know you'd be inviting this char. I could say the same for you, human. Finally crawling back for forgiveness, Logan. I've done nothing that needs to be forgiven. Logan, Mitlock, enough of your squabbling. Kate, I doubt that we can unite again. Not after our last mistake. The Norn's right. When heirs to Galkin makes mistakes, people die. Is that what you think, Soja? That what happened was my fault? Please, all of you. Our time has come. We must help the Orders. They've fought the Elder Dragons before. And lost. Because someone couldn't keep up with us. If you have something to say, say it to my face. I would if you weren't always running away. I should gut you and be done with it. Gut me? With what? That human-made sword you looted from Ascalon? I've had enough. We're done here. Running away again. Ritlock. You're just making it worse. Ha! Look who's talking! Logan's right, for once. I have more important things to do. I'm done with this. And I refuse to waste my efforts on cowards and fools. Goodbye, Kate. It's sad to see Logan and Ritlock argue. If only there was something to bond them together. Yes, I know it might help. Kate, I have to leave as well. I fear this meeting was a mistake. But maybe I can fix it. We failed, Ben. Failed to bring Destiny's Edge back together. We cannot help the others. How can we help Tyrion? Okay. Drama Central up in here. The foolish, arrogant, mule-headed char. Does he think I wanted this? I was a fool to come here. A fool to think I could make this work. You're not a fool, Logan. That's the only way. Without Destiny's Edge, Kryda will be destroyed by the dragons. We can't do that either. Mm -hmm. I know that, I just, I knew Ritlock was angry, Air, Zoja, all of them, but don't they see the choice I made was hard on me too? Yeah, yeah, you had to choose, blah, blah. Time is one thing. Alright, so let's get through this. Um, okay, read my mail. Sweet apples for sale. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, we leveled up. Very good. I, I wasn't even paying attention when I leveled up. I guess maybe it was uh, just a minute ago when I fought uh, fought that old crazy guy out for blood. Maybe that's what that was from. So what are we, 43 now or 44? I think I'm 43. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to put some more points in curses. Why not? This is maybe not the right choice for PvE, but I don't care. You can always reset or refund those whenever. Man, I'm having a lot of uh, lag in uh, in that zone. Or like, It's basically when I first zone in, I seem to have a lot of lag, and I can't imagine it's hardware-based. I've got a good, you know, good machine, good graphics card, and everything like that, so... Of course, I've definitely noticed, so, like, again, I've already commented about this, but the amount of lag that it even takes right here at the loading screen to get instanced in or uh, seems like a little too long, but whatever. Juicy Apple would hit the spot right now, buddy. Hey there. Can I interest you in an apple? I'm looking for my contact. 
member of the or <laughs> Apples for sale! Nothing but apples to see here, folks! What part of secret society wasn't explained to you? Keep your voice down, Initiate, and pretend you're buying an apple. Sorry. Uh, give me that apple. The, the one over there. My name's Tibble, Lightbringer of the Order of You-Know-What. It's my job to train you to serve the Order. I'm supposed to figure out if you're trustworthy, and if you are, well, then you get to know more. A lot of people would love to know the secrets our Order collects about the dragons, sometimes for very bad reasons. That makes sense. Put me up to any test, Tibble. I'll prove myself. First things first. We've got a mission assignment. Are you up for it, Initiate? Aren't you going to tell me what it is? Ah, not in Lion's Arch. There are ears everywhere. Meet me in Applenook Hamlet, and I'll brief you there. Sounds good. What? Okay. I follow Tibble to speak with me, Initiate. My name is Real, and I am the Order's primary spy in Lion's Arch. The Preceptor sent me to welcome you before you begin your first mission. You have a right to know the dangers you will face. Okay. Welcome, Initiate. Yes, we know who you are. We've been watching you. You join us even as the fate of nations hangs in the balance. Only the Order of Whispers stands between civilization and ruin. In every nation, the dragons are rising. They will devour the world. If they aren't stopped, they'll turn Tyria into a burnt-out husk, a broken shell. You may have chosen to join the Order of Whispers, but our trust is earned, not given. Now is the time to show your worth. It doesn't matter where the dragons came from, or why they awakened. The secrets we discover will help us send them back to hell. Welcome to the Order of Whispers. Okay, seems pretty cool. I don't know what that really warned me about, but uh, I'll take it. These guys look like the the cool ones. Of course, I don't know what the other order uh, videos are. All the art and all the cutscenes have been really good. Um, no doubt about that. I don't know, really, hats off. And even the music in the game is really good as well. I have mine super low. Um, I probably should just disable it. I don't know if it would ever be like any copyright stuff. I should actually, I should probably just do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Okay, sound options, music. I'm just going to turn the music off that way. I won't have to worry about it. I know that like uh, YouTube is like crazy about uh, content because they have the, uh, uh, what? Troublemakers, huh? Is this an actual, uh, I don't know. This is just some random guild. Well, whatever, you know, I'll join it and it doesn't really matter. I've actually been wanting to get uh, some people to group up with, and so maybe, if anything, uh, I will be able to do that, and uh, maybe this will be a good guild for that. I'm not sure. I don't really know anything about standings. I would imagine I can drop them at any time. If uh, it's not working out, or it's not a good fit, or it's maybe like you know, in other games too, time zone issues, like maybe it's a primarily heavy Europe-based uh, guild and I'm in the U.S. and that doesn't work out for me very well or vice versa, so I guess we will see. Go ahead and join that. I think I have like a guild discovery uh, token as well that increases I don't even know what it really increases, like I think it increases points for your guild or something. Uh, do I not still have that? Restless Ghosts. Um, oh, I guess I should have joined that before I uh, zoned out, huh? Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Alright, so.
Let's find out what we need to do over here. Stealing secrets. Okay. More cutscenes. Man, it's been a lot of cutscenes. I wish we could have talked in that tavern in Lion's Arch. Free drinks. Plenty of pretty ladies will talk to a broken down engineer. Maybe next time. I'll even buy you a round of something you'll enjoy. Apple cider, right? Ha! Good one. Anyway, here's the situation. This is Crichton. Most of Crichton politics center around a tug of war between the Ministry and the Queen. Minister Cardicus wants to steal the throne from Queen Jenna. Cardicus doesn't see the dragons as a threat. He just wants Crichton for his own. That means we're on the Queen's side, right? You're darn right. Queen Jenna's making a treaty with the Char. She supports Lion's Arch. She already likes having her power. Here's where it gets interesting. Minister Cardicus's daughter, Demi, contacted the Order of Whispers. Apparently, there's trouble at home. Demi Beetlestone is offering detailed information about her father's shady deals in exchange for asylum among the Order. The trouble is, the Order lost contact with Demi between Divinity's Reach and Appleness Hamlet. Our job is to track her down. Makes sense to me. Let's snoop around and see what we can find. Okay, question locals. Oh, please don't have it be a lot of cutscenes. I hope this is just like brief. Questioning. Okay, where are these men? Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna read all this dialogue because uh, I'm just trying to complete this, and this doesn't uh, seem like a particularly interesting dialogue for, from these people, anyway. Okay, uh, okay very good. Okay. You have a way with people. Not bad. Squeeze them a little and these villagers leak information. So, to me was with friends here then disappeared. The Ministry Guard appeared right after she vanished. It makes sense that her father, the powerful Minister, sent the Guard to bring her back. But they're still here, which means they haven't found Demi yet. Hmm. We also know the Ministry Guard commander was angry about a message from an unknown source. The Guard has answers we don't have. It's time to know what they know. They're all at the tavern. If we can get them drinking and talking, they'll spill the apple. Let's go. Okay. Before the ministry showed up, we need to know more. Well, let's go drinking. I imagine this is like a uh, some sort of drinking quest, maybe. I don't know. There's been some cool quests. I really wish I had recorded the one where um, you like are going truffle hunting and this frog turns you into a pig. Such a good mission. Okay, let's get this guy drinking. Okay, I can't open that, I guess. Let's give one of these guys a drink. Follow this bozo and listen in. He might learn something. Did he just call her, sir? 
Is that even uh, appropriate? Okay, so what? Sneak upstairs? I don't think I'm really sneaking. What in the name of Balthazar's horned helmet is wrong with you, guardsmen? You're yammering away like a script caught red-handed. Ah, uh, we were just talking. No harm done. I never mentioned the commander's letter, or the pirates. Straighten up and call me sir, or you'll find yourself transferred to the Black Hole's mines. Y yes sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't tell the commander, sir. You're lucky the commander's retired to 